Hello, students. Good evening. Hi. Hello, Good hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. Welcome to a new class, to a new day. My name is Natalie de Flores. I am going to be your teacher in this, uh, during this module. So uh, it's a pleasure for me to be with you here, right? So uh, we're going to start today by uh, sharing a little bit of what we're going to do. So I am going to share my screen with all of you. Let me know if you can see it, okay? Very good. Yes, okay, so if you can see it, give me a like. Great, fantastic. I can see you, your likes. Okay, I am going to share a couple of things first. Uh, some agreements that we have for the class is for sure, practice your English as much as possible, okay? That is the idea of the class. Practice your English as much as possible. Be respectful and polite right, in all the classes. I know that it's not a problem for you. You are very, very special and polite. And let me see the next one. Attend all your classes, right? It's very important that you attend all the different classes that we have because they are going to help you to improve your English. The next one, keep your cameras active all the time. Right, remember that if I see you interacting and practicing, it's going to be beneficial for your development of the language. It is very important to work in the educational platform, right? Remember that we are going to finish the module in August 17. So by that time, you have to finish uh, your module as well. Try to keep it uh, over the 80% of uh, progress, okay? And keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. So the idea of the WhatsApp group is to practice, right? If you find material, if you find vocabulary, different things, let's share it in the WhatsApp group, right? And remember to use English to communicate in the group, okay? So uh, for me, it's a big, big pleasure to become your teacher in this, in this module, right? You are going to meet me during the process. And for anything, for anything, for anything that you need, I am going to be here for you, okay? So uh, if someone is having difficulties or something, just let me know and I am going to find a way to help you, okay? So what is my name? Let's see if you remember. Aha, uh -huh. microphone. Natalie, Natalie de Flores. Exactly like that. You can call me Teacher Natty or Miss Natty the way you want. Natty. Right. Right. Good. It's good. So you can you can uh, call me in the both in both ways. Or if you want to call me Teacher Natalie, that's perfect. Okay. So those are some of the agreements. And we have some participants now. We have 18 participants. Areli, Briseida, right? Carlos Antonio, Boris. We have Delia, Nubia, Evelyn, Rocio, Jorge, Kevin, Luis Hernán, Marta, Oscar, Vanessa, Janet, Catherine, Manuel. And maybe if I miss someone, uh, I am very happy to have all my students here. Every single student is important for the class. So if you see that a person is missing, ¿Dónde estás, compañero? ¿Qué pasó? No te vi en la clase. Okay, so remember to keep this active activity in the group. Okay, today I am going to um, ask a couple of questions. What did you talk about uh, last class? I need you to raise the hand 
in the platform and tell me a little bit of what you talk about in the previous class. Sorry, teacher, I never knew how to leave my hand in the platform. <laughs> okay, on the chat, I think on the chat, you have the options of reactions. If you open the chat, if you open yes. the chat in the, in the platform, you have yeah. the option of reactions. And there you have a un like, corazoncito, and todo, and then you have raise the hand. I think you have it right there. Let me see if it's right there. And if not, we're going to continue looking for it. You don't have the option? I found this. Uh -huh. Well, but you have the claps and I can see a reaction. There, next to them, you have one that says levantar la mano. No, you don't I have don't it. Found, I, I don't found it. I didn't find it, you say, I didn't find it. Well, we are going to continue exploring. We are going to continue exploring there uh, in the in the platform to see where we have it. But okay. if not, you can use a reaction there. But it's it's good. Let's see. And we have Thank Janet. You. Janet, can you tell me a little bit of your previous class? What did you do? Um we saw a uh... Adjectives modify uh -huh. the, the 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 adjectives. Uh -huh. The adverbs. The adverbs. Adverb. Sorry. Excellent. Yeah. Adverb. Okay, you studied adverbs. Yes. Good. Yes. Very good. So we are going to uh, talk a little bit today, and let me just uh, make a very quick practice here. I think you have seen this conversation. Yes or no? Yes. Donde la han visto? In the platform. In, in, the, the, platform. in the platform. Exactly in the last, in the last like class. that. And in the last class, exactly. Very good. So we are going to see how much you have advanced. And we are going to practice this a little bit. So if I say, what's so like? Is it an interesting place? What is it going to be the answer for this one? Oh, so. What is so like? Yes, yes, yes. It has amazing shoppings and the people are pretty friendly. Okay, is it an interesting place? And you say, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Good. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Hometown. Huh? No, no, really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I move away. Exactly. No, really? Uh huh? Continue. Not really. So you say, not really. Not really. It's too small. And it's really boring. That's why I move away. Exactly. That's why I move away, you say. What's Sydney like? I have never been there. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that makes three of us. What's Sydney like? I have never been there. Hey. Oh, oh really? really? Beautiful. Oh, really? It's a beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Yes. Oh, really? You say. So yes. when say like, I have never been there and the reaction would be like, oh, really? <laughs> it's very, it's a, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. And what is the option for the last one? Have you mm -hmm. ever been to Sao Paulo? Mm -hmm. oh, be. How did yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Very good job. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? And it says, yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent- Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Uh, what is crowded? What is what crowded? Is, what is the meaning? What is the meaning of crowded? Huh? 
Okay. Yes. yes. I am going to give you an example. Okay. A coaster in the center of San Salvador at 6 p.m. Oh. Very oh. crowded. <laughs> oh, okay. With Thanks. a lot okay. of people in the same place. Uh -huh. Okay. That's Excellent. the meaning of crowded. Thanks. Yeah, yes. Thanks for the sample. Exactly. Or like the supermarket for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Crowded. Really crowded. Crowded, gin. Exactly like that. Very good job. So that's the meaning. When you say, what's so like? Is it an interesting place? Right? When you say, like, is it an interesting place? You are asking uh, just no question, right? Is it an interesting place? Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? In this case, you are asking for a reason, right? Not really. You say it's too small and it's really boring. It's like, ah, nothing interesting happens here, right? It's really boring. That's why I moved away, right? I moved away. What's Sydney like? I have never been there. And when you use this phrase here that says, oh, really? It's like if I tell you right now, hey, people, what are the pupusas? I don't really know them. And you're going to tell me, oh, really? Are you from El Salvador? Oh, really? It's like, ¿qué? <laughs> I have never been there. I have never tried the pupusas, right? It's very beautiful and clean. And have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yes, I have. It has an extremely, that's the pronunciation, extremely. Extremely. Extremely, exactly like that. Very extremely. good job. It has extremely. an extremely, extremely large and crowded. Oh, sorry. It is an extremely large and crowded place. Crowded. An extremely crowded. large and crowded place. Crowded. But I love it. But I love it. It has excellent restaurants. It has excellent, it has excellent restaurants. restaurants. Very good job. And do you have any question about pronunciation on the other sentences? Uh, no, for the moment, no. Okay, so let's see. I am mm -hmm. going to ask you questions. It's like, no, teacher, I don't have questions, huh? Let's see. <laughs> okay, I have a question. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, uh, okay, uh, it's a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Beaches, right? It has beaches. Beaches. Okay. Beaches. Okay. beaches. beaches. Okay. No beaches, okay? It's beaches. Uh, <laughs> beach. No, no, no. No, no, not that one, too. Okay, no, it's like, nah. It's yeah. beaches. No, no. Beaches. 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 Very beaches. good job. Okay, beaches. So, beaches. Yeah. Let's see. I am going to ask. Adrián Ernesto, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Adrián, what's Seoul like? Is it an interesting place? What's Seoul like in the interesting place? It's um, history. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I am going to ask you the question and you are going to give me the answer, okay? We have the lines connecting the answers. Okay, again. <clears throat> What's so like? Is it an interesting place? Uh, okay. Yes, it's amazing shopping. And the people uh, are pretty friendly. Are pretty friendly. Pretty friendly. Okay, so let's repeat. Okay. Repeat with me, Adrian Ernesto. Yes. Okay. Yes. It has amazing shopping. It has amazing shopping. And the people are pretty friendly. Are the people and pretty friendly. Very good job. Two claps for you. Very okay, nice. Thanks. Let's go with the next one. Adrian, who is the next participant? Give me one name of your friends. Okay. Um, the name is the classmate, Vanessa Rodriguez. Vanessa. Vanessa, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Vanessa, do you like your hometown? 
Why or why not? Not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I'm more away. Very nice job. Excellent pronunciation. <laughs> Two claps you. for you. Vanessa, who is the next participant? Mm. Give me a moment, teacher. Uh, Araceli Rodriguez. Araceli, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Let's see. What's Sydney like? I have never been there. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Excellent job, Araceli. Good pronunciation. Who is the next one? Okay, let me see. Uh, Oscar Romero. Oscar Romero, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oscar, have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It's a next, it has a next, it has excellent restaurants. Excellent job. Very good. Two claps for you. Very nice. Okay. You. Excellent. You see, you did the exercise in a very good way. So today we are going to go into the topic for the night that is and, but, though, and, however. So in this topic, we are going to um, use these forms to add information or to contradict information. So in this case, we have the words and these are the ones that you are going to use. We are going to use and, but, however, and though, okay? And is to include information in the sentences, but is to contradict, however, and though, are also for contrasting information. And I have some examples here for you. It says, it is an exciting city and the weather is great. So you are telling me that the place is nice and the weather is fantastic. So you are adding information. If I tell you, it is an exciting city, but the weather is terrible. So, if I use but, I contradict the information, okay? It's an exciting city, but the weather is terrible, right? And if I tell you it's an exciting city and the weather is great, I am giving you extra information about the place. So what about the next one? When you use however and though, you use them at the end of the sentence right? And, and but go in the middle. However, and though go at the end of the sentence. Before this one, you have to use a comma, right? Before writing and, you write a comma. And in these cases, before writing but, you write a comma, right? And before writing however, another comma. This is punctuation, and it's important to keep it in mind. Let's read the other examples. Let me see. I am going to ask another volunteer to help me to read the examples. Evelyn Mariela, can you help me to read the next example? It is, a, it is very safe. It's very safe in the day, but it's pretty dangerous at night. Okay, so in this case, you're using but to contradict, right? It is very safe in the day, but it's pretty dangerous at night. And as you can see, not only in our country, it's in every place of the world, you have to be careful in the night because it's pretty dangerous. Let's see the next one. Carlos Antonio, can you help me to read the next example? It's a big city, but it's not too big. Yes. Okay, it's this one. It's a fairly large city. Oh, sorry. Fairly. It's a fairly large city. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. 
it's a fairly large city. It's not too interesting, however. Okay, it's a, it's a fairly large city. It's not too interesting, however, right? De todas maneras, o en otras palabras, right? It's not too interesting, however. Or de todos modos, right? The next example, Jose Manuel, can you help me to read the next example? Teacher, the summer are hot, the evening are fairly cold. Oh. Okay, though, the summers are hot, the evenings are fairly cold, though. It's like though, in this case, will be like aunque. Okay, los veranos son calientes, las tardes son más o menos frías. Aunque las tardes son un poco más frías, right? So that is the meaning of though in this case. And we have four more examples that I am going to read for you. It is an exciting city and the weather is nice, okay? I am including extra information in this case. It is a big city, but it's not too big, right? And here we have more examples. It's a big city, it's not too big though. Aunque no es tan grande, right? It is a big city, it's not too big, however, right? Though and however are very similar in meaning. So keep in mind, important, and and but go in the middle of the sentence. However and though, go at the end. In some cases, you can find however in the middle of the sentence, and it's still correct, right? Hay excepciones donde lo podemos encontrar al centro. However, but the most common at the end. Okay. Any questions so far? Yes. Yes. Uh, Go ahead. When we use however in the middle of the, of the sentence, yeah. uh, the Different. meaning is uh, sin embargo. Exactly. Or, or what is exactly? Yeah, that's the meaning, right? It's a fairly large city. However, it's not too interesting, right? Sin embargo. The meaning is the same. The position can be in the middle or at the end. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Let's check a little exercise that I have here for everybody. I have a little exercise for you. And in this case, we have to choose either and or but to complete the sentence. In this case, we have the first one. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. So you have to see if you need to use and or but. Are we, in, are we including information or contradicting? Including. 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 Very including. good job. Including. So in, in this case, we are going to use and. 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 So everybody, open your microphones and we are going to make a little noise here. We are going okay. to read the sentence with the word, okay? The sentence is, and you are going to repeat after me, okay? Taipei okay. is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Taipei is, is very, very nice. nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. 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 Very good job. Even when it is a little bit noisy, it's okay because we are practicing pronunciation. Let's check on the next one. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Are you going to use and or though? Oh. 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 Listen and repeat. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around though. No, very good job. Listen to the next one. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot. And or however. 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 However, because we are not however. adding information, we are contrasting, <clears throat> right? So the sentence is going to be. The weather is nice. Summers get pretty mm. hot, however. Repeat. The weather is the nice. The is nice. nice. Summers, Summers get, 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 get hot, 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 hot. Summers get hot, however, right? The next mm. one. Uh, we have shopping is great. You have to bargain in the streets. 
and or but? But. 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 Remember, if you have a question, you Bar have game. to ask. Bar what's the what meaning of bargain exactly you say teacher what's the meaning of bargain the meaning of regatear exactly like that regatear like, negociar hey people i have this new pen it's only two dollars two dollars is the last no. one and you too say much money. One it's dollar. too much money one dollar right. 125 Bargain. Right. Bargain. 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 Bargain in the market. Bargain. Bargain. That's a very Salvadorian thing. We love yeah. to bargain, right? It's like, hey, why so expensive, you say? And it's like, no, that's the price, that it's my final price and I Bargain. am losing money, right? Bargain. Regatear. Okay. So in this case, you have to use but, okay? And it says, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the markets. Everybody? Shopping, shopping is great. is great. You have, you have to bargain in the market. Bargain. Bargain, bargain in the markets. Very good. Bargain okay. in the market. The next one. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. And or though? And. 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 and, and, and. And, 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 okay, and in and, this one we can fight and select and, 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 and the two options are possible. And the two options are possible. Okay, you can yeah. use it. You can use it in the two ways. You can say and or though, right? Depending on the side that you see it, because if you say the food is delicious <laughs> and it's not too expensive. <laughs> less money right but if you say the food is delicious it's not too expensive though right so win-win situation everybody <laughs> depending on how much money we have on the pocket we can use yeah. and and though let's listen and repeat the food is delicious and it's not too expensive the food is delicious and it's not too expensive the food is delicious. It's not too expensive, though. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive, though. No. No. Very good job. And the last one. It's an amazing city. I love to go there. And or however. However. And. 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 Are and. you contrasting and. or adding information? Adding Add information. information. Adding information. Ding, ding, ding. Uh -huh. Adding information. Okay, it's an amazing city and I love to go there. In this case, yes, you are just adding information. Okay. So if you tell me, for example, it's a horrible city. I love to go there, however. Right? It's like, a un feita y todo me encanta. That it's contrasting. But in this case, it's like, it's an amazing city and I love to go there. Uh, they are talking about El Salvador, right? <laughs> in this case. So everybody repeat after me. It's an amazing city and I love to go there. It's an amazing city and I love, I love, love to go there. I love yeah. there. Very good job. Hey, you are doing an excellent job. You are very good students. I am very happy with this group. Very nice. So here, I have four original sentences that I invented. This is the moment for you to invent sentences, okay? I am going to read the sentences that I included, that I invented, and you are going to invent your own sentences using and, but, though, and however, okay? So you have to create four original sentences using and, but, though, and however. Re listen to the examples that I have here. So I hope that you have your notebook and your pen right there. Si no, vamos a pasar lista, a ver quién tiene cuaderno y lapicero lista. Huh? Like in the school. 
<laughs> it says, these are my sentences. It says, Ataco is very nice, but it gets really cold sometimes. Chalatenango is very beautiful and it has several places to see. Shopping malls are big. They are always crowded though. The process is easy. It is really long, however. Okay. You don't have to complicate that much to create the sentences. You say, a taco is very nice. You can say, mm, chalatenango is very nice. And you have another sentence, right? El Salvador is very nice. And you have another sentence. El Salvador is very beautiful. And you have another sentence, okay? So don't complicate your life that much. But I need you to create four original sentences using the words that we have just learned, okay? I am going to give you only three minutes to create your examples, starting right now. Go ahead. Okay, create your examples, please. If you have any question, I am here to help you. See, thank you to the ones that have the camera on because I can see you working and that's very good. When you finish, tell me on the microphone. I finished your chart. I finished teacher. Very good. Can you give me one sentence, please? Your car is beautiful, but it's not very fast. Very good job. Your car is beautiful, but it's not very fast. Excellent job. I finished. Can you give me one example, please? The beaches of Sonsonate are beautiful, but they are very hot. Excellent job. Very good sentence. Me teacher. Go ahead. Give me one example. Um, San Salvador is hot during today, but cold at night. Very nice. Very good job. I complete teacher. Go ahead. Can you give me one example, please? Okay, complete. Okay. Um, Santa Ana is a beautiful city and has the best church of CA. And it has the best church of Central America. Very good job, right? Me okay. teacher. Go ahead, me can you give me one example? Chalatenango is a great city and has beautiful woods. Very good, beautiful woods. I love the woods in Chalatenango. They are very nice. Someone else? Me teacher. Go ahead, can you give me one example, please? Okay. Apulo is Apulo is pretty it's pretty, but it's dangerous place. Okay, Apulo is pretty nice, you could say, but pretty it, nice, uh-huh. But it is a very dangerous but, place. It but, is. But it is. Uh -huh. Because you need a subject after but, okay? okay. But That's it good. is, like in this case but it gets right great job but thank is, you but it but but it is it is a dangerous place very good job but it is a oh. dangerous place someone else me teacher. teacher 
go ahead. Okay. Uh, one Guatepeque. first and then the other one. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Guatepeque Lake is very pretty and it is a modern wonder. Very good. It is a modern wonder. Excellent. Next. The homework is too hard. It is too funny, however. <laughs> the homework is too hard. You say it's easy. It's <laughs> easy. <laughs> good job. Someone else? Someone else? Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Another volunteer. Only one, only one, don't fight. <laughs> one more example. Go ahead, Janita. It's a cute cabin. It's not the it's not that big though. It's not that big though. Very good job. Thank you for the ones who participated with the examples. That is very, very good. Don't feel afraid of making mistakes. If you read your sentence and it is not correct, we are going to fix it. Okay. Don't worry, because the idea is that you practice your English. That's the most important. I have some questions here for all of you. And I am going to ask you the following. I have four questions for you today. What places in the world would you like to visit? What is a country you would like to travel to? What activities can you do in El Salvador? And what places should you visit when you come to El Salvador? This is a little of a discussion, right? We are going to talk a little bit about this. What places in the world would you like to visit? What is a specific country that you would like to travel to? What can you do in, in El Salvador? What are the activities that you can do in the country? And what places should you visit when you come to El Salvador? So I need you to analyze the four questions and to choose one that you want to answer, okay? If you tell me, hey, I want to answer number two, what country would you like to travel to? I would like to travel to Australia and see the kangaroos. That's an example, right? Choose one of the four questions and give me your answer. You can tell me, teacher, I want to answer. And you can share the answer with the class. Okay, miss. Go ahead. Um, the first one. Okay. I want to, to visit um, Holanda. Holland? In, uh, yeah, Holland, and I want to stay living here. Great, very good job. Thank you, Janet. Someone else? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Araceli. Um, they're saying, what places in the world you would like to visit? Uh -huh. I would like to visit Europe. Europe. France, Italy. Yes. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Someone else? Maybe yes. Sure. Um, okay. Okay. Oscar, lady. you can go first if you want, and then we go with the lady. Who was the lady? Sorry. That was. Okay. Oscar and who... go ahead. Go ahead. So okay. answer. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes. you, teacher. I go like to visit Canada. Canada, what a beautiful place. Oscar, what is your answer? Okay. Uh, the second, the second uh, question: What is the country you will like to travel to? And um, I will like travel to Great Britain or England. To great, Great Britain or England. Yes, Britain. that's a beautiful place. I have yes. never visited, but I imagine that it's very beautiful. <laughs> I only see in the pictures. Of, and in movies, 
<laughs> exactly like that. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful country. Well, right now with the pandemic, I would love to visit El Mahawal. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, Carlos, can you give me your answer? Yes, I would like to visit Japan. Japan. Yes, Good. Japan, because I want to know the more culture. It's very intense. Oh, very good job. Briseida, you raise your hand. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, what place should you visit when you come to El Salvador? And you should visit Olquilta. Olquilta, yes. That's a very good place to visit if you come to our country. Very good. Manuel Villegas, go ahead. Thanks. I, I feel like the second one. And I would like to travel to Irlanda and see the San Patricio's Day celebration. Oh, to Ireland. Very yes. good job. Yeah, to see San Patrick's Day celebration. It is a very symbolic celebration that they have. It's an iconic celebration from Ireland. Very good job. Umberto, tell me. I would like to travel uh, travel to France and visit the 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 Torre Eiffel. The Eiffel in, Tower. Eiffel Tower in Paris. Okay, so you would like to travel to France, right? Very good job, excellent. So one day we are going to make our, all our dreams come true. Let me see. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. we are going to do it. If we work hard and we effort, all the dreams are possible. Who imagined that you were going to be speaking English here with me? Uh huh. ¿Se imaginaron en su vida hace un año, hace dos, que íbamos a estar aquí hablando inglés? No, right? Oh, <laughs> so, all the, all the dreams are possible. If you work for them, everything is possible. So, let's continue learning because when you travel, you are going to need the English to communicate. So, let me see. I am going to ask the next volunteer it's going to be Catherine Bonilla. Can you help me to answer one of the questions? Okay, so I just, uh, what places should you should you visit when you come to El Salvador? Well, you should visit uh, Los Planes de Rendero. Good. You, um, the, um, you can visit too uh, La Libertad. <laughs> en la libertad. Very good job. Let's see. Delia Rivera, can you give me one of the answers? Yes, teacher. Good night. Hi. Yes. <laughs> uh, the first question. What places in the world would you visit, like to visit? Um, I like to visit, I would like, oh, this, you could yeah, get I, no, it's okay. I would like to visit. That's good. Okay. I would like to visit, um, um, how would you say Costa Rica? In Costa Rica. Rica. It's the same. Costa Rica. Okay. Um, So you would like to visit Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Okay. Very good job. Thank you. It's okay. Fantastic. Sandra Yasmin, can you give me one of the answers? Hello, good night. Hi, uh, good, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, I choose the Angua too. Uh, what is a country you would like to travel to? And I pick um, to travel. Korea, Korea, see, Korea to see um, bear pandas. Hey, very good job, <laughs> right? You would like to travel to Korea. Very yeah. nice. Thank you for your answer. And the last one I am going to call Jengmi. What a, what a nice and curious name, Jengmi. Jengmi Guardado. 
Ajá. Miguel Ramírez, are you there? Ah, Miguel, Miguel, Miguel. Hi, teacher. Hi. Can you give me one of the answers, please? I am busy. I am like busy. Uh, Holanda. Holland. Holland. Yes. Holland. Very good yes. job. Thank you very much for all the participants, volunteers, teacher. and not that volunteers. Oh, go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Hi. Tell me. Hello. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I would like visit uh, Paris. Paris, the Paris. city, the city of love, the place of love. Yes. Some people say that it's very beautiful. One day we are going to make a trip to Paris and we are going to visit it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jenny, for your answer. Remember, and this is for everybody. We say good night when we go to the bed. <sighs> to sleep okay but when we participate we say good evening okay that's good just evening. just for the record good evening right now what why am i going to use these ones uh, or these words with you because we can use the modal verbs can and should to give parts of uh, suggestions no. to people <laughs> right things that you can do and things that you should do right i am giving recommendations i am suggesting things that you can do in the different places mm -hmm. for example the one of the questions was and nobody answered it what things can you do if you come to el salvador what things can you do if you come to our country well you can go to the beach, you can go to the mountains, you can go to the different shopping malls, you can visit different places in one day. Because El Salvador is very small, so you can do all these activities in one day. You can be in Santa Ana and later in La Unión in the same day, because we are a very a small country. What can you do? ¿Qué puedes hacer? Right. And there is another use for can. And who can tell me the other use that we have for the auxiliary can? Could. Aha. Poder. Poder. Aha. Exactly. When do you use it? Para que otra cosa ocupamos el auxiliar can? Abilities. Exactly like that. Ting, ting, ting. We have a winner for abilities, right? We use can for abilities, but in this case, we are not going to use it for abilities. We are going to use it for suggestions, right? Things that you can tell me. In the English class, what can you do to improve your English? Can you give me recommendations? What can I do to improve my English? Practice. You can practice a lot. Good you job. can practice. Give me more. You can listen history. You can listen to stories. Good. More recommendations. You can, you read can see. Uh -huh. you, we, can see can what? you can books. see movies in English. You can watch movies in English, right? You can watch movies in English. You can read books. What else? Give me more recommendations. We can, we can, you can sing. practice you with can music, listen to music. <laughs> music you in can, English. You can practice. You can sing music in English, right? The important thing is that you practice. And you can do it in many different ways, okay? Todas las recomendaciones que me dieron a mí, Las podemos poner en práctica todos, ¿ok? Ah, teacher, read. You can read, teacher. You can dance. You can sing in English. Do it with me. And we are all going to learn. So it is good. In this case, you were giving me recommendations. ¿Ok? Nadie me estaba diciendo, usted puede leer, usted puede cantar como habilidades. No me dice, ah, puede leer en inglés, puede cantar y le va a ayudar. So that is the difference in this way to use can. But if you use should, you are giving me a stronger recommendation. 
Mm, teacher, you should practice your pronunciation. Teacher, you should read more. Like, deberías. Like when your mother gives you the recommendation. It's like, uh, you should organize your bedroom. Debería organizar un poquito aquí. You should do the cleaning, right? It is a stronger recommendation because you need to do it. If I tell you, students, you should work in the platform. It is not must, but it's a recommendation, okay? Si ya les digo must, it's almost an obligation. But should is like soft, right? Está como en un nivel bajito de must. Si ya les digo, students, you must finish the platform. For tomorrow, it's an obligation. But if I tell you, students, you should practice in the platform. I am recommending you to do it. Okay. Did you get the difference? Yes or yes. no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hand, yes. Thumbs up for yes or thumbs down for no? Yes. Good. Very good. So that is the use of can and should. Recommendations that you give to people. It can be. Yes, Oscar, do you have a question? Yeah, yes. In this moment, in this moment uh, we use only can. Uh, mm -hmm. Or I, I recommendation, um, for example, uh, Nati, uh, you can't, you cannot be afraid. Uh huh. Uh, well, in you, this you case. You cannot be afraid. As a, come on, come on. Okay, in this case, it is better to use shouldn't. No deberías. Ah, that's because, good. Because in that case, can't, it would be more like a, if you are prohibiting something. Okay, okay. The, the, the best word is shouldn't. Yes, shouldn't. Right? Shouldn't not, shouldn't be, shouldn't be afraid. Okay. Yes, exactly like that. Okay. That's the correct pronunciation. You shouldn't be afraid, right? Be afraid. And in this case, I have here the words can and can't. Important. If you make it negative, make sure that you pronounce the T at the end. Can't. 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 Okay. can't. Everybody, can't. can you practice the pronunciation with me? Can. And it's the same with should. You say should, 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 Sure. Listen to the pronunciation with me. You have can, can't, can. should, can. Can't. shouldn't. Can, 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 can. should, can't. should, can't. should can't. shouldn't. Good, shouldn't. very good Should job. Or shouldn't. Can. The, the can't. At the should. end is shouldn't. the most important. Okay. It might sound a little bit exaggerate. You say, I know you can't do it. Can't. And you make can't. specific things. Can't. Because can't. that it's going to give you the difference between can't. a positive and can't. a negative thing. Can't. 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 Imagine if I can't. tell you. Can't. You, can, you can use the cell phone in the coaster. And I don't give you the correct pronunciation. And you say like... Hey, teacher Nati told me that it's okay. And I told you, you can't use the cell phone in the coaster because you are going to say bye-bye to it. Hey, my phone. So, but as you don't want to scare people in the world, you are going to give a recommendation. And you say, hey, my friend, you shouldn't. Use the shouldn't. cell phone in the coaster. Cell phone in the coaster. <laughs> you shouldn't. 
shouldn't. You shouldn't. Right. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't use. Or you can say, hey, students, you shouldn't be texting in the class. Because you have to pay attention. You should turn on your cameras because I need to see you. Right? Sure. Okay. Those are the uses. So let's check some examples. Sure. Here, I decide where to go on my vacations. Do you think that it's I shouldn't decide or I can't decide where to go on my vacation? I can't I can. decide. And I can't. can't. I can't and. decide, right? I can't decide. I can't where to go on my and, vacations. I and if you are going decide. to give an answer, you use a recommendation with should or shouldn't. And it says, you go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. You should. You, you should. should. You should. You should go to India. You should. You, you should, should go to India. It's my favorite place to visit. You should. I am planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go should go exactly should, I should go when do you think i should go if i say when do you think it is better to use should because i am going to ask for a recommendation when do you think i should go if i ask you le voy a dar otro ejemplo i want to buy the best pupusas of el salvador where should i go you should I go to Los Planes de Rendero. <laughs> you, should, you should go to Los Planes de Rendero. You should go to Holocuilta. Okay. You should go to Holocuilta. Good. You right? should go in my house. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I am here. You can bring it to me. You should go to Doña, Doña Maria. Place. You should go to Doña Mary, right? In some cases, Mary's. the small places are the best. Let's see. Let's go back to the fancy examples. I am planning to go to Bogota next year. When do you think I should go? You? Anytime. The weather go is. Anytime. You can go anytime. You can go anytime. You can go anytime. Very good. You can go anytime. The weather is nice. In All this year. case, if you say you can go anytime, it's like, puede ir en cualquier yeah. momento. Right, you can go anytime. The weather is nice all the year. Yeah. The next one. I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo. I am asking for can a recommendation. I? Can. can. Can I rent? Can I? I can. Can I rent? Can no. Should. Should. I rent a car I when I arrive I should. in Cairo? Exactly, should. because. I am asking you rent a car. Recommendation. Can you see the next one? What do you recommend? What do you recommend? Should I should I rent a car when I arrive in Cairo? What do you recommend? No, you can. You should. Shouldn't. Okay. You should definitely use the subway. You should definitely. It's fast and efficient. And efficient. She's so like, no, no, you shouldn't no. rent a car. You no. should definitely use the subway. It's fast and efficient. You should. Okay. You and should. the next one. Uh, number four. Can you read the complete sentence and give me the option? Briseida, tell me. Uh, teacher, what is the pronunciation of word definitely? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. 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 Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. And the last one. Where? Where to? It's a possibility. Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? Where can I get some nice jewelry in Bangkok? You can't. 
You can't miss the weekend market. It's the best place for bargains. Or you shouldn't, right? You shouldn't miss the weekend market. In this case, can't is the best option. Okay? So, uh, yes, Oscar? Yes. Uh, in this sentence, miss uh, meaning you can miss. No te puedes Ooh. perder. What's the meaning? No te lo ah, puedes perder. Okay? Missing, okay. So you, you know, do you know what is something that you cannot miss? Oh, repeat, please. Do okay. you know what is something that you cannot miss? No. No. The no. next class, because I am going to see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful night and I am going to see you tomorrow. Continue working in the platform and you cannot miss the next class. I am going to be waiting for you right here at the same time. It was a pleasure to serve you today. Remember, work and practice. Have a great night. Okay. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Practice your English. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a great night.